so we're going to teach you how to play Mancala. Um, so Mancala is a type of game. It uh, refers to a count and capture game. And uh, there's different ways to play. So this is one version of how to play. Now this board, we bought this at uh, Walmart. This is the package. And you can get this at Walmart, Toys R Us, this exact version. I've seen it in a lot of different places. Now, um, these marbles here, these are referred to as seeds, and these are the pits. So, you're going to move your seeds counterclockwise from pit to pit. And that's known as um, sowing, referring to the seeds. So, you're like, it's like you're sowing your seeds. Um, we're playing with a traditional two-row board. There's different rows. There's three-row, there can be four-row boards. I'll just show you really quickly. This is a four-row board, and you can see it's a little different from the two-row board. Um, Mancala is thought to be the oldest game in existence, and you can find people all over the world playing um, a variation of this game. Um, okay, so this is how we play our version, and if you play it differently, uh, let me know how you play, what's different, um, and what type of variation you're playing when you play Mancala. So, you start, you're going to put uh, four seeds in each pit. Okay, now uh, this is my side of the board, and this is my opponent's side of the board. Um, these spaces here, these are called stores. This is where you're going to store your seeds. The store directly to my right, that's my store. This is my opponent's store. And so the way we play is um, you take some seeds from one of the pits, and you're going to move always, like I said before, counterclockwise. So you always put one seed in each pit. Now if I stop here in my store, I get to go again. So I'll take the seeds from this pit and I'll move them counterclockwise. Okay, your turn. So you can only take from his side, and I can only take from my side. Okay, so um, one other thing that uh, we haven't mentioned is if, for example, I'm counting seeds and I stop here, I then get all of his uh, seeds from his side. And I'll put them in my store and I'll take this one also. And since I'm putting something in my store, I get to go again. So that's one way to play. That's how we play. And have I forgotten anything? Do not put the seeds in your opponent's store. Yeah, when you're moving around, that's a good point. When you move around, you don't put seeds in your opponent's store. So if I take seeds um, from here, this is my side, I'll put my seeds, I'll put one in my store, I'll continue around the board. But if, let's say I had a lot of seeds from here, and it takes me all around the board, let's say I have another seed, I don't put it here, I would continue that side. So we'll just finish up our game. Okay, so then we continue playing, and once you get to the end, the first person to clear off Let's say I'm able to, oops, this is all over the place. 
So let's say I clear off my side of the board, um, I then get all of my opponent's seeds. And whoever has the most seeds wins the game. 